Bell Gardens is still reeling over the death of its mayor, and tonight we have new information about what happened between Daniel Crespo and his wife, Levette, who shot him yesterday. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in Bell Gardens now with what he's uncovered. Dave. Pat, standing in front of the uh, security gate that uh, protects this uh, guarded gate community, this condo community where the mayor of Bell Gardens was shot, as you mentioned, two things we have learned. Uh, the wife has said that she shot her husband to protect her son, and we are also learning that this marriage of 28 years was basically on the rocks. Did you believe her uh, that, that she was protecting her son? And that's why, that's why she shot him? No, I don't believe that. You don't believe that at all? No. Why not? Because um, I don't think she should have just, that's not the way to handle things. If, 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 if there was any problems, she should have called the cops. She Today, Willie Crespo, hands, the so. brother of slain Bell Gardens Mayor Daniel Crespo, reacted to what L.A. County Sheriff detectives said happened in this Bell Gardens condominium. That the mayor and his wife, Lovette, were arguing yesterday when the 19-year-old son, Daniel Jr., tried to stop it. That's when, according to detectives, Mrs. Crespo got a gun and shot her husband numerous times in the chest, killing him. She said she was upset with him. About what? I don't know. Crespo said that's what his brother told him on the phone about an hour before the shooting. According to law enforcement sources, Mrs. Crespo told detectives in an interview that she shot her husband yesterday afternoon because he was beating up on their 19-year-old son. In a separate interview, the 19-year-old son told different detectives the identical story, that his mother shot his father to protect him. Would your brother be beating up his son for any reason? No, I never seen him beat up his son. He loves his son. He loves his family. After being questioned, both mother and son were released by detectives. No charges filed, and detectives would not give an explanation as to why. However, they did say that the district attorney will have this case tomorrow for review. They also confirmed that the son was treated at a local hospital for facial injuries, and they also confirmed that the mayor was shot with a gun that he owned and was legally registered to him. And the brother confirmed what some co-workers and family acquaintances told us off camera, that this 28-year marriage was in trouble. Yeah, they were having problems. Were they with everybody. for divorce? It, possibly, yeah, they could have been heading for divorce. But they were still living together? They were still living together. But no indication that he never hit her or anything like that? Not that I know of. The Sheriff's Department confirms no calls of domestic violence to this Bell Gardens condo. <laughs> Crespo loved to sing and often entertained at government functions. He was described as an outgoing, backslapping type of politician who loved to get things done. His daughter at the police station last night didn't say a word, and there was no comment on camera from anyone at City Hall or the police department. Crespo was a longtime probation officer in Los Angeles County in a supervisorial role. Now, his department issued two things today. First of all, they said in his job, he did not carry a gun, and the gun that was used to kill him was not issued by the county, by the probation department. It was Crespo's. Reporting live from Bell Gardens, Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.